I am a dog. A dog that's incredibly bright. I can talk, read and write. And surf the net all of the day and all of the night. Oh, Neil, you can talk! And much more, Bernie, but keep it to yourself. If we let the cat out of the bag, you'd be a celebrity. If you want to lead a dog's life, the secret's got to stay with you and me. Watch my chops, shush. It's no joke, the dog is broke, he said. Watch my chops, they must never hear a word. Absurd. Are you sure you've got enough on that, Bernie? Thanks. Let me guess. Too much ketchup? Excuse me. I ordered a hamburger, not a piece of overcooked shoe leather on a bun. You got a complaint? Talk to the new chef. Bernie, why make such a fuss? Let's just go. But what is this? It's a hamburger. Hey, haven't I seen you somewhere before? I doubt it. I'd remember a chef who can't cook. I think you left this burger on the grill about three days too long. Come on, let's get out of here. Huh? The new chef at the cafe is Joe the Scoundrel? What are you talking about, Corneal? Bernie, it's him, I swear it! Look! He's been released from prison! Joseph Scully, don't move! Or would you rather I call you Joe the Scoundrel, eh? <laughs> you thought you'd escape from the paws, I mean, the hands, of Inspector Cornelius! Very good, Inspector, but you forget, I've got a hostage! If Joe's flipping burgers, Corneal, that means he must have gone straight. What are you worried about? He might find out that I am Inspector Cornelius and that I am a talking dog. Oh, oh, please. How's he going to find out? You're freaking out over nothing, Corneal. The worst he can do is serve any more of those burgers. A hamburger. But this time, hold the cowhide, OK? Burger for table nine. Do you want anything? Speak up! Shh! I'm far too nervous to eat a thing. And I don't want to be in here a moment longer than we have to be. It can't be. It is! That voice! I'd know it anywhere. It's... Inspector Cornelius! I know you're in here! <laughs> Oh. Where is he? That's it. I remember now. You're the hostage Inspector Cornelius rescued from my shop that day. <laughs> so where is he? Uh, where's who? Inspector Cornelius. Who else? He was here just a minute ago. You tell him Joe's back in town, and he's not leaving until he's spoken to him. Uh, Joe? I think you need to speak to the fire department first. Oh. Watch my chops, Bernie. We are never, ever going back to that cafe again. What do you mean? It's my cafe. I got my table. I'm not going to stop going in there because of Joe. Uh, but he's always going to be listening for me. I can't take the chance again, Bernie. What are you going to do? Skip town? Come on. Haven't you ever seen a gangster movie, Corneal? You can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> Very well. Then there's only one way of freeing myself of Joe, once and for all. 
You heard what Joe said. He just wants to speak to Inspector Cornelius. Then speak he shall. Are you nuts? What if he's planning to ice you? I believe you've seen too many gangster films, Bernie. Obviously, Joe has gone straight. I just want to know why he's so keen to see me. But, Cornel, he'll find out you're a dog. Of course he won't. He'll never suspect a thing. I have a plan. Listen carefully. Well, let's see. I think I'll order a big, juicy hamburger. Plenty of ketchup. Hello? Why, it's my old friend, Inspector Cornelius. What a surprise! Cornelius. Careful, Bernie. Don't overdo it. Just make sure he hears the bit about meeting in the park. What's that? You want to meet? In the park? In front of the statue? At dusk? All right then, Don Cornelius. Don Cornelius? Don Cornelius? Bernie, what are you talking about? Sure, Inspector. Now that you're Don Cornelius, big time godfather and high powered smuggler, burglar, Crime boss type guy? Bernie, stick to the plan. There is no Don Cornelius. I'm Inspector Cornelius. Sure, I'll come to meet you. Let's just say it's an offer I can't refuse. Uh, see you later, Don Cornelius. Come on then, little doggy. <laughs> Inspector Cornelius turned into a crime boss? This is terrible. Oh! Joe totally took the bait. <laughs> what in the world is all this Don Cornelius stuff, Bernie? It's not part of the plan. Too many gangster movies, huh, Corneal? Everyone knows that a cheap thug is terrified of a big crime boss. Trust me, if Joe thought he might get revenge, he is so over it now. I bet he won't even show. Nothing is more certain. But from now on, you're going to follow the plan to the letter. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I've got a little surprise for you, Don Cornelius. Someday you'll thank me. You're going to follow the plan to the letter, blah, blah, blah. Don Cornelius! Are you there? Over here. Are you alone? Of course I'm alone. He isn't alone. I'm here too, Inspector Cornelius. What's he doing here? Don't take another step, Joe. Shut that dog up! Hey, pipe down, you stupid mutt! Ah, poor little pooch. So, Joe. Now that you're out of the slammer, what do you want from me? I... I just wanted to thank you for putting me back on the right track. I've gone straight. I'm an honest man now. Because of you, John Cornelius. And now, to repay you, I'm gonna save you from a life of crime. Save me? <laughs> Ow. Like this. Oh no! Don Cornelius! Police! Oh, no! Oh, no! Right over there! Over there! Stop him! Cornel! Don Cornelius, oh, you're a genius, Bernie. 
you've turned me into a fugitive. You go that way. <laughs> we can't get away. Come on, hurry! He must have gone down there. Who is Don Cornelius? That's my dog! That's my dog! Excuse me! It's Cornel, my dog! <laughs> Despite a thorough search of the sewers, police lost all trace of the mysterious Don Cornelius. Hear that, Cornel? Bernie, I was there, you know. <laughs> hey, guys. I've got a present for you. A Joe's special. Bon appetit. Oh, but you shouldn't have. <laughs> no, no, I insist. I'm leaving town tonight. I've decided to try out my culinary talents in France. Au revoir. If you ever see Don Cornelius again, I'm counting on you guys to put him on the straight and narrow. No problem. I'll deal with Don Cornelius. Bernie, perhaps you should forget Don Cornelius for now. Oh, sorry, Cornel. To make up for it, you know what? I'm gonna give you my hamburger. Oh, no, no. I insist. <laughs> 